Right, hello again. Um, <coughs> this is going to be a abbreviated version of the Bird Box project. Um, the last video is quite long because it shows you all about the environments. Um, this one's going to be abbreviated and basically we're just going to learn a bit more about sketching tools. We're going to use constraints, we're going to use plane shifting, um, all the extruding tools. Um, and it should show you a quick and easy way of actually creating you know, what it, well, it's a fairly easy shape to be to be fair, but still people seem to come up with problems with just simple shapes like like this. So learn these sketching tools and it will just make life easier. Um start off. Let's ensure we've got a metric tem template. Millimeters IPT and let's start a new sketch. Right. <coughs> First we're gonna draw our basic shape. So start off with a line and we're going to snap it, see the cursor turns green, to the middle there. And we're going to drag out to 120mm long. All the dimensions are available in the PowerPoint that goes with this one. Um, now that's the only dimension I'm going to put in at the moment. We're going to drag up now if you look, we have polar tracking, we have constraints. Polar tracking is when a point follows a uh, pre um, previous point. Here you can see we're dragging up and it's snapping to what we call a perpendicular constraint. So we've got two lines at right angles to each other. When lines are purple, they have constraints applied. Right. I'm going to draw the worst bird box in the world. And I'm going to close it off and you can see I've got my green icon, so I'm going to snap to the end. Now. Let's finish that off by clicking OK. I'm now going to apply con constraints to this to actually um, fix it. Right, now you can see all your points and your lines at the moment are adjustable. So we're going to make this into a rigid frame and we're going to turn all, all the lines, lines purple. First of all, <coughs> supply parallel constraint. Click your primary line, this is going to be my vertical line and let's click the opposite side right click, hit OK the lines are still flexible but they will now only move up and down, they will not move left and right ok let's put in horizontal constraint and let's do both top points of my wall click OK you can see now both my walls are going to go up together middle still all floppy and flexible. Right. Now, equal constraint. Let's make both our ridges equal. Right click, OK. Now you can see, you know, it's getting there. I've nearly got the bird box shape. There's only two dimensions, two other dimensions we, ha we, we haven't actually put, put on. That's the height of our sidewall. Put in 120, zoom out a little bit, drag him across, Let's drag out, whoops, hit the escape key. I still had dimension um, lit then. Okay, just my pitch is now flexible. Let's do a dimension, top of the pitch, top of the wall. Drag him out, let's put in 40mm. And there you can see, basic shape, quickly and easily done, just using constraints. Let's finish that sketch off. You can zoom out with your scroll wheel, drag them about by clicking and holding your scroll wheel. Scroll wheel. If you simply click home, it will zoom and give you the best, best, best picture. Um, best fit picture. Let's extrude that now. Select our shape. Make sure solid is lit. We can either drag, or we can enter a dimension. Now our bird box is 120mm square, so let's drag him out to 120mm. Okay, so we've now got a little monopoly piece. Now, we want to cut out the cut out the middle. What I'm going to do is I want to draw a shape right on top of this ridge, and I want to extrude it down and use the cut command to remove it. But I haven't got a plane there. I can only draw on planes. There's one here, one here, one here, all six sides. Um, so I need to create a plane on top of my ridge. I'm going to click Start 2D Sketch. I'm going to hit Plane. 
it's just rotating around click the bottom hit plane again and now I'm going to drag that up right you can see him coming through the roof it's enter a dimension our bird box is 100 mil, 160 mil high let's put in 160 click our tick and he's putting below the bird box <laughs> just click that bird box there, click that plane there minus 160 click the tick ok watch your negatives and your positives start 2D sketch let's hit my plane now I need to project the edges of my shape what this will allow me to do project geometry what this will allow me to do is to dimension to my previous shape if I didn't actually project the edges I couldn't use the previous shape to position the rectangle I'm going to draw in the mi in the, in the, in the middle <coughs> select rectangle drag our rectangle out ok let's use the equal command let's make our rectangle a square by making all sides equal let's start putting dimensions in let's drag out a dimension from each side 10 mil let's drag a dimension out 10 mil ok get at the bottom and one more to do so already got that one all lines are purple we're fully constrained let's finish that sketch now we're going to extrude our middle shape and we're going to use the cut command we're going to drag it down through now I want 10 mil wall thickness all the way round and that includes the base as well so if I extrude down 150 mil that will give me a 10 mil thickness on my base let's click the two work plane still vis visible so let's just click work plane right click and deselect visibility and now I've got the basic shell right start a 2D sketch we're going to create our, our roof now we've got a plane we can draw, draw on and that's this one here again let's project geometry let's connect projects the ridge two sides and the base let's select rectangle now I said about polar tracking earlier if I drag a line out there can you see the dashed black hatchings there ok it's already snapped to the, to the middle of my ridge let's drag my shape out now I want 10 mil overhang on all sides so again let's enter our 10 mil dimension bottom edge let's finish our sketch off and let's now extrude our shape ok let's enter 10mm for extrude so we've got our roof got one side, we're not going to draw draw the other side, what we're going to do is we're going to mirror this roof, roof um, pa panel um, now we need to mirror around a plane so first of all we need to create a plane right in the middle of our bird box start 2D sketch click a drop down our plane and let's go mid plane between two planes select that face select the opposite face you can see I've created the plane. So now I'm going to mirror. I'm going to select our extrusion. Select a mirror plane. We're going to select that work plane too. And hit OK. And now we've got roof both sides. So turn that work plane off. And we 
just need to fill in the ridge part. So we're going to create a sketch. We'll select end of one of our roof panels. Let's just flip that around. We can use our navigation cube here. Again, I'm going to project geometry. Now let's select line. Let's draw a line in our V. Now I said about polar tracking before. You can see I can actually come over to this corner, drag the point back. Alright. And you can see this line here now follows on from this uh, line. Same, same here. Let's finish that sketch. And let's extrude. Make a shape, select solid. Now what I'm going to do is rather than put a distance, I'm going to select two. I'm going to rotate and I'm going to hit one of the back walls. And I'm going to extrude to that face. Once I'm happy, click the tick. Alright, got our bird box shape. One less last thing to do, and that's to put the hole in the front. So we're going to use the hole command. Select hole. Linear placement, we've got two reference positions we can put, put in. We don't want the through all, we're going to have to put a distance in. Now I'm going to put a distance 12mm, just to break through one of the wall fit thicknesses. I'm going to put a diameter of a hole in, 40mm. Now, select the face I want to put my hole in. I'm going to put in my first reference position. Let's do it from that edge, and we'll change this dimension to 60mm, which will position it in the middle. Stop messing with me. Let's select our other reference position. Bottom of the hole. And we're going to put it 80mm up. Um, we've got our reference positions in, we've got our two dimensions. We've got the depth of our hole and we've got our diameter. Once we're all happy, let's apply that. And I've got my hole. Okay, <coughs> so bird box is finished. Let's finish that one off. You can see under my solids here, I've got <coughs> all my different shapes. Now, what I can do, is I can select different parts and then change the materials on these different parts. And this is how you can colour in, you can colour one bit in wood, you can colour one bit in, let's have natural oak on the bottom. Um, And this is how basically you can get your different colours, your different finishes on different parts. Let's just paint that in red. Select a mirror. Let's put that in red as well. And we've got one last solid to do. Du -du -du. Forgot my alphabet. All right, quick, simple, easy. All right, and that's all using those constraints that we learned about mirrors, shifting planes. Shifting planes is a really, really good tool. There's quite often not a plane in the position where you need need it to be. All right, I hope that's been of help to you. It was a much quicker version of it. Um, have a go, enjoy, thank you.